Creative Commons was born out of a need to break free of the copyright law stranglehold on creativity and invention. Since 1790, when our forefathers first enacted copyright law, it has been extended multiple times, including 1831, 1909, 1976, and 1998. This latest law was the Sonny Bono Copyright Term Extension Act of 1998, CTEA for short. It extended the term of copyright for works in the U.S. another 20 years over the 50-year existing term. It affected both new and existing works. Extensions for corporate works increased to 95 years from the year of first publication to 120 years from the year of creation, whichever expired first. Constitutional scholar Lawrence Lessig of Stanford felt that the law was unconstitutional. In his view, copyright terms were set for a reason, so that the work could eventually enter the public domain and be available to use and repurpose without permission. It was important to our founders that creative works eventually land in the public domain, so that authors, scientists, musicians, any creator could use that work to advance knowledge for future generations. So to Lessig, a new alternative solution had to come along. It came in the form of internet publisher Eric Eldred, who had a hobby of placing old books on the internet for people to read for free. These books had passed into the public domain because their copyright had expired. Now anyone was free to copy them. But after the enactment of the CTEA, it was illegal for Mr. Eldridge to post certain works no longer in the public domain. This was unacceptable to Eldred, and he decided to fight. Professor Lessig took the case to the Supreme Court. In Eldred versus Ashcroft, there were two central claims. The extending of existing copyright violated the Constitution's limited times requirement, and that extending terms by another 20 years violated the First Amendment. The Supreme Court held CTEA constitutional and Eldred lost. But it led to the creation of Creative Commons in 2002. In the true sense of the word, this is a commons, a virtual commons, a place where creators can gather as a community and share their work. They would keep their copyright because all works are all automatically copyrighted, but they now had a choice to make their license more flexible. So researchers and artists find others' work, can remix it, and share it forward. The ability to share with people all over the world who can build upon others' creations extends knowledge, access, stories, and community. As of today, there are 1.4 billion CC licensed works. This includes music, academic research, YouTube videos. Anything that can be created can have a CC license. It is up to the creator to choose. Today, Creative Commons is not just a license and an organization, it is a movement. Creative Commons has become the standard for the enabling of sharing, reusing, and remixing. It shows us the potential of what we can do with digital technologies. The Creative Commons Global Network is just one of many entities that advocate for what is called the open movement. You can be a part of this movement by sharing your work freely. That YouTube video on how to play the blues or that poem you wrote for your English class it is yours to do with what you will. You own the copyright, and you can allow others to enhance it. By so doing, you are collaborating with a network of like-minded creators to further knowledge for future generations.